Welcome back everyone for the next part of Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux. In the last part, we managed to find our way for Cruz. Fought against Maya and Stanley, Arthur got uh, abruptly shut down and I'm not really sure what happened. So let's see what happens next. What's going on? There weren't any signs of malfunctioning. Hmm. What's that? Is someone on the view screen? Look, something is coming up. Three silhouettes are displayed on the view screens. Did you guys hack into Arthur? Seriously? Humans, we have walked the destined path of fighting demons. Can you hear us? Maya has fallen, and the false vision of this land have been dissolved. The time to reveal everything to you human has come. The flow is changing. It is clear that you may have the power to change this Schwarz Welt. Behold now, the vision of the path that all humans, nay, all life on Earth should take. One of the crew interrupts it. Are these the three guys who showed up when we tried to escape? Yeah, multiple times, even when we came into this world. Careful everyone, they're going to... Huh? The crewman's voice faded into silence. What's that? The earth perpetuated the audio cycle of foolish creatures. The reincarnation of culture beyond salvation. There was a time long ago when this land was populated with creatures other than humans. Okay. A time when those creatures prosper, the civilization covered the earth. It was their craftiness and greed which summoned the Schwarz Welt. They too were a race who spoiled the earth. Little realizing, oh my god, little realizing that their action brought about their doom. They remained set in their way, transfixed by their civilization. All of them disappeared into the Schwarz Welt. We are the three wise men. Beyond the reach of time, we are one with the earth. We are here to build a just civilization, spiritually. We have no wish to see the cycle of ruin repeat. What's that? The proper path for humanity to treat is to bury the evil soul, leave only the Holy Spirit, and make on this earth a single, unified Holy Spirit. Are they standing on the rooftops? And the music again! That Asylene song! I don't like this! The spiritual enlightened, who will, <laughs> whose will are strong, will be chosen. With the fallen humans whose will are weak shall be eliminated. What? With the power of the Schwarzwelt and the power of that song, the project will reach its goal. What do you mean the, the others get eliminated? The chosen one will reign over the earth as a single spirit. Humanity's charge of unity all uh, uniting all life on earth as one will at last be fulfilled. If the Holy Spirit are in harmony with each other, there will be no desire. And the absent of, absent of acrimony of hostility will prevent the earth from ever again being put at risk. Humanity's spirit shall sing his praise daily as they are di <laughs> directed and shall nourish the earth. In order to connect and unite those spirits, we require the song. That is the song under which humanity will become as one. In doing so, they will exist as solemn cre uh, creation for the rest of eternity. The three wise men were interrupted by another voice. Ridiculous! What kind of soul would wish for such a deadly world? Yeah! Seriously! Oh! Well, hello there! Nothing dies, nothing is born. How can a planet that, that doesn't even blink be said to have any life? Is this the salvation he has promised you? 
I will tell you what these humans who threaten the life of the Earth needs. It's to return to their soul origins. And that would be what? What is this? Reclaim the time of impulse souls. Full of joy. Oh my god. Joy the Vera. A time of death and birth. Destruction and creation. Bring back to the land that spirit of freedom. Then you will find that human will be allowed to become a part of nature. Quite unlike humans as they are now. Living off the fat of the land. Alienated from nature. I say, let the Schwarzwald loose. That's the way to regain your freedom, your harmony with the earth. When the earth is filled with demons, the life of a human will again have worth. Your days will be, will be beautiful one, where you polish your souls in a world led by a free god. And if a spirit among you in that world becomes depraved, may you bid him adieu. There is no worth in the spirit who fears death and clings to covetously to live. Right now, you are bent on earning a chance to escape certain deaths, so you might change the future. But what form should that future take? Do not neglect that. Okay. The view screen automatically shuts off. The girl disappears. What the hell? Those three again. It seems they are trying to tell us something. Something about a vision. A civilization on the brink of destruction. Their vision of a new world. And it's up to us to decide what we should do? Huh. And someone else this time. Uh, was that a demon too? Maybe. The ancient days, filled with freedom, she wants us to go back to that. Hmm. I could kinda see what she was getting at, but... What's with you guys? Don't get taken in by that stuff, okay? What are we here for? To save mankind from the Schwarzwald? Or have you forgotten? That's true. Hmm. Are we being manipulated by gods and demons? Have we managed to keep hold of ourselves? This crew is being pushed to its absolute limits. Yeah. Do we have an update on Arthur yet? Is he still down? It looks like he's been on, he's been on auto recovery. He'll be back online soon. He, uh, he will need some more time though. Let's tell the others to wait. Okay. I can wait. Oh yeah. Oh, why is that thing open? Selenin! Selenin is standing in the room. It seems she has returned to the Red Sprite. Where were you all this time? Like, seriously? I could have needed your help with Maya. Uh, Nara, it seems everyone on board the ship saw the, view, uh, the vision. Just as the wise man said, the question of how we should lead humanity has been put to us. I am here now to tell you my feelings on that matter. Not my feelings, precisely. More like my calling. I am leaving the Red Sprite to follow wherever the Lord's will takes me. The time of judgment is near, and I cannot remain idly. Nava, thank you for all that you have done for me. It saddens me that you saw it fits to slaughter the checks for hey you brainwash them i am free to do everything in order to save them okay but in time you will understand his teaching and walk his path alongside me oh heck no never <laughs> no. if he wills it we will meet again hopefully not i pray that everyone on the red sprite awakens to his guidance Seriously, I hate brainwashing. Don't do that around me, okay? Selenin prayed for you and left. Well, there she goes. Wait, Selenin! Messenger of the Lord! I will help you. I know you can save me. I know you will. What? I understand now what I should do for my sake. For all mankind's. 
teach us how to free ourselves of suffering. Oh, nee. Oh, no. Don't tell. I lost three of my guys. To Selenin and the angels. Ugh. No. Selenin, your song. When I heard it, I felt like I was one step closer to heaven. No, that's just the brainwash talking. Snap out of it, okay? I want to see the highest of heights. The real light of salvation. No! Please let me join you. Snap out of it, you guys! That's stupid! Clearly stupid! A few of the crewmen followed after Selenine and left the Red Sprite. Oh, I hate that. Huh? Ray! Oh, he manners! The man is standing in the room. It seems he has returned to the red sprites. You guys see that too? Some vision, more like a hallucination. Those ancient assholes and their stuck up lecture pissed me off. But I tell you what. What the chick, uh, what the chick after that said really hits home. A free life where if you die, it's your own fault. That's not bad. And I'm thinking, maybe I have it in me to make a world like that. So it's time I say adieu to the Red Sprite. From now on, I'm a free man. What? But hey, don't you worry about me. The Schwarzwald is probably better for a man in my conditions anyway. Because you have demon? I'm really sorry for all the trouble I caused you, Ray. But you're always welcome if you decide to live with the demons. I'm doing it. You can too. Later, Ray. We'll meet again if fate would have it. And there he goes. He manages left with, with a casual waved goodbye. Oh yeah. Are they also going to follow? Hold on, Ray Manus. I'm not going to let you go. I know now. Humans can do anything on their own. The world we knew is never coming back. It's time we turn towards the power of the demons, the god of old. I want that freedom we have lost. Oh. Oh, the other guys are also going to join sides, huh? So the red sprite is going to be turned to the three sectors, or rather sections. I always did envy you, Jimenez. I wish I could be true to myself like you were. I can't stand being tied down. It's not like... There are any guarantees of salvation. I'm going with you. And the other guys. Well, that's just perfect. A few of the crewmen followed after Jimenez and left the red sprites. Great. Well, at least I have my, my normal crew around. Like McClay and, and Tyler and... The other two girls that I didn't even bother to remember the names. <laughs> Sorry, they never were around. They never visited the, the outside area of the, the world, you know? I always went in here in the cutscene. <laughs> after Utter rebooted. Uh, I mean, Utter rebooted after a short while. Oh, yeah. Command units Arthur, auto recovery is complete. Normal operation restored. I will now assess the situation and devise the course of action. Uh, it didn't take much for them to pack in and shut you down, Arthur. You don't really stand a chance against them, huh? Yeah. My feat has evidently made it easier for them to act. They were able to send this vision in the absence of Maya signal scrambling. The tree wise man seems to possess a powerful information manipulation ability. Maya's disappearance has allowed him to put these powers to full use. You have seen the effect with my shutdown and the vision you saw. True, true. Well, looks like we'll have to sleep with one eye open for a while. The situation should change once we depart the sector. Let us return to our original mission. Criminara, you have yet to turn over the exotic matter, correct? I will take receipt of it now. We will send this to engineering and begin preparation to move to the next sector. Of course. You hand it over, Groots. Now, as to the treatment of Jimenez and Selene. Both have abandoned the mission and left the Red Sprite. 
This is a breach of regulation, and both will be formally discharged. Ah, oh. uh, I was trying to think if there was any way to stop them. I don't think they would have been allowed, or rather, they would have allowed us to stop them. You know, Jimenez was able to punch through a ship, and I don't want to hear that song. <laughs> but the way they acted, never mind them being part of the crew, I'm not sure they, they're even humans. Between the one affected by those two and the one brainwash, uh, brainwashed by the vision, well, we are down a lot of sea agreement. Though, if we tried to stop them, it probably would have been have gotten bloody. True. I hope there aren't any other crew members on the fence. Yeah. Order within the crew has been disrupted and morals have suffered. However, I will continue to suggest what I consider to be the best course of action. Kriminara, judging by the report of your encounter with Commander Gore, it follows that Map Alphys is in the next sector. Oh, so we finally meet the true mother, huh? Mem Alphys, the core of the Schwarzfeld, right? Yes, the next sector may indeed be the core of the Schwarzfeld. Let us hope it is the final area we must investigate. The final area. We might be able to make it back home if we get the next sector's uh, exotic matter, but... Nara, do you think that's all, that's all we are meant to do? Aren't we just turning our back on that problem? That kind of thinking might be a sign of your, that you were brainwashed by the vision, you know? We have done enough investigation of the Schwarzwald. Though I do think there, there's something missing. The fate of the Earth is on our own shoulders. It's too big for us. That concludes the briefing. Begin preparation to plane ship to the next sector. We will again go by performing a continuous jump through the vanishing point at Eridanus. All hands to your positions. Aye aye, sir. And there we go. Possibly the last time we're actually going to go for the finishing points. By the way, doesn't that also mean I should probably head back to the Womb of Grief? It's been a while, after all. And I still didn't grab all the fruits yet for my Demeter, right? But well, should still have some time, right? <laughs> but, oh wait, no, never mind, I also need to go back to the fairies. Right, I can't forget about the fairies and Antony. Landing complete, we have arrived at the new sector. All hands prepare to begin field investigation. You say that, but I just feel like I have so much to do, Arthur. I have so much to do. I can't just leave yet. <laughs> yeah, our workload will increase by, by a lot. Uh, with a lot, you uh, crewman, huh? Wonder how many we have lost here. Don't be so pessimistic. Who knows? Maybe this sector will be the end of the investigation. True. That's what Arthur said. I give him a 50 50 chance of being right. I mean, either it is or it isn't. This is Monitor Team. We have begun our environmental search. Uh, survey. Roger that. Patching the camera, f camera feed through the main display. So, not really sure what that's supposed to see, or what I'm supposed to see with that, but... Yeah, I'm not really sure. <laughs> the view screen displays a change on the world's outside. The world is burning. Is that fire then? Don't really see the fire though. Burn to a crisp. Is this what the earth looks like when it's, it was first formed? Maybe. So, why are we seeing it here? In the sector? Speaking as a strike team member, I wonder if we'll be able to operate in a place like this. Arthur, can we really go out there? It looks imposing, but atmospheric survey indicates life is sustainable if you wear your demonicas. There's nothing enticing about this sector that would hinder our operation. Okay, so not everything is as it seems. 
Fornix, Cruz. Now this sector. That's how every sector past the vanishing uh, point is felt. Places where you can't tell what's real and what isn't. That's true. This will be Sector H, codename Horologium. Our main objective is to obtain the exotic matter we believe to be in this sector. I am issuing a new official mission designated Hologium's Exotic Matter. I have no idea how to pronounce that thing, but for the time being, I'm just going to call it Horror. <laughs> That's it? Nothing about where we might start looking? Your mission order haven't been very detailed lately. It's been, it would be nice if we could dig up any infos about Mem Alphas. Maybe we should reevaluate this mission before we start investigating. I know we are all helping this will. Uh, this will be the. Oh my god, I can't read. I read too much! I know we are all hoping this will be the last sector we visit. But. With our reduced crew, we should probably avoid wasting time. Well, shouldn't we leave that up to each one of us? In a situation like this, it's hard for anyone to take responsibilities for their action. That's true. It's probably because we're in such dire state that people followed Jimenez and Zenonin. As we commence the investigation of Horologium, I must caution you. We have come into increased contact with paranormal entities such as demon and unknown spirits. I know that your resolve is being tested by the demons and this new unexpected information. Do not allow it to interfere with your mission. Uh, that makes sense intellectually and it was it's, it's what I've been trained to do. But I feel like I can help getting distracted if I don't have something to believe in. Oh yeah. What is it we are missing? Holy shit! Mercy! There's an activity on the monitor and her- What? It seems to be a transmission from someone. Who is it now? What? Did someone get here before us? I'm getting errors in the administration system. We're being hacked! Shit! No, Arthur! No! Arthur's down! I'm not getting anything out of him. Come, my crew. Check thoughts unto the land of decision. You have done well in clearing a path here with your own hands. This is where you, rather, your investigation will bear fruit. This land, created to eradicate all of mankind, will fail in its purpose and disappear. Leave your ship and come. I will speak of the thing I have been witness to do, and mankind's intended path will, made, uh, will be made clear. That voice! Commander Goa? What?! An Arthur still offline! What do we do? It's only- wait, it's only Arthur that's down. The rest of the Red Sprite system is fully functioning. Strike team? We need to assert what Commander- I mean, no, just Goa has in mind. I know it sounds dangerous, but see if you can get close to him. It seems like Gor's trying to tell us something. Think it's safe to approach? Are you sure he wants us to attack us? We're not having any luck yet pinpointing the source of Gor's transmission. I don't think it's nearby. Sounds like we're better off moving than Panket talking. Get ready, Nara. We are scrambling. Okay. Land of decision, huh? Uh, I get it. I, I think maybe, maybe. Oh god, there's somebody missing here as well? Wait, what about the lab? Is the girl still here? Both of them are still here. Great. And I got a new sub app, right? Let me see that. Sub app swapping over. Bite the bullet. All allies can be revived with 1 HP from KO once during this active turn. White album increases the amount of XP gained after battle. Yes. Increase the amount of marker. Yes. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I, right? Item garnish. Demon who join her will also give you an item. 
But I'm not really sure about that. But the other ones, a clear yes for me. So, as I already said... Yeah, technically speaking, it seems like I'm probably supposed to go over to Hogo. But... There are some things I need to do, like this is the fairy village again, right? Let's do that first. I mean, come on, right? They've been waiting for so long already. Oh no, what should I do? Oh, it's you. Hey, can you do me another favor? I need you to bring me Vivian and Springen here. I would like them to be posted as the villagers guard. Thing has been dangerous around here lately, so I'd feel reassured having strong demons protecting us. So please, can you bring Vivian and Springrun here? Of course! Actually, I think... Don't I already have them? Wait a second... Don't I already have them on my team? Vivian? Yes, I have! Oh wait, in that case, uh, let me just uh, write them down really quickly. Springrun, and where's my Vivian? There's my Vivian. Perfect! Well there, High Pixie. I have your demons. Are you happy about it? You delivered Vivian and Springer to High Pixie. You came through for me again. Thanks. Here's a little something to say thank you. Go on, take it. The X mission, Fairyland Establishment 4, has been completed. You received... <gasps> the answer? The answer is in this game too? Oh freaking yes! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'm one step closer to building a village of fairies. Oh, you're welcome, little fairy. Do you also have another mission? Uh, mission? The king and queen of the fairies have yet have said they want to see the place for themselves. It's a tremendous honor. Could you could you escort the king Oberon? And Queen Titania to this village? Of course. Thank you so much. I wonder if the king and queen will like it here. I'm counting on you. Oh yeah, but this is going to take a while because uh, Titania is actually level 60 and I'm not quite there yet. But let me see the answer, okay? Oh god. A strange edge sword knife. <laughs> oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. Okay, gonna use it from now on. By the way, now that I have a few of my upgrades, am I able to go past here now? Well, I can. Well, that's cool. Let's see. There's also former here. Interesting. Very interesting. But nothing else around. Okay then. By the way, if I'm here, I should probably equip the other app in order to prevent any type of uh, encounter. Since, uh, technically speaking, uh, I don't really need to fight weak demons around here, right? Especially since they tend to be the same that I already had to face before. I cannot open this? What? Wait, what about the other door? No? But that is strange. Okay then. Alright, before I forget, uh, Anthony needs my help, right? Do you want to report to Anthony? Of course! Because I was able to talk to the special lady. Oh, hey, Nara. Did you talk to the goddess? Yes! <laughs> you reported to Anthony. What? Are you kidding me? Then, just now, that was... Huh? Uh, see, just before you came, I met this one woman. Come to think of it, she was riding a camel. How did I not realize? I was just so, It was just so sudden, and she talked like a normal girl, so she gave me a lot of good advice. I thanked her and she said, you're welcome. And then before I knew it, she was gone. Man, what a waste, huh? I was talking to a real living goddess and I feel like it wasn't any big thing. Well, I wouldn't hit on her. 
definitely out of my leech. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. That goddess actually gave me a message to pause and pass on to you. She said, if you need me, use these words to establish a bond. Gamori okay, notes. But the stuff she wrote down here doesn't make any sense. It's just a bunch of letters. I thought it would be like a phone number or an email. Or is this what this stuff looks like in the divine realm? Well, well. Looks like a goddess has taken a liking to you. Maybe you're the luckiest guys around. Ah! <laughs> it seems like the goddess has interest for me, huh? <laughs> Great! Oh yeah, well I'm at it. Hinara, I figured I might as well ask. When all this is over, could you hook me up with someone? Come on, man. You heard that, uh, what that goddess said. Share the love. I'm counting on you. Sure, I could technically do that. But first, I did receive the notes. Let me see that. Memories. Memories notes. I think if I type that... Oh, wait, huh? Elimo... Himmel... Eli... Oh, Himmeleo... That code is way too long. That code is way too long for... Wait a sec, I'm going to take a picture. Ah, okay. It barely fits, but it actually is a passcode. For a free grammary. Uh, sure. But it doesn't really have any type of attack. But well, wait, what is this? Enemy within you, which has been one of the relatives, will, will have reduced attack, defense, and agility. That sounds really, really useful. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, where was I? Alright, I wanted to check again the old areas since I did get a few upgrades if uh, by any chance I'm able to complete a few more quests. Uh, a few more quests. So, I was finally able to get a cursed spear after traveling for Antlia again and grabbing some raptor tissues. Now then, with all the ingredients, what are you able to craft? How's the search? Everything goes smoothly? Remember, I asked for a cursed lens and 80 carried too. Of course, you can have both of them. You handed over the materials. Oh, you got them all? Not bad. I will make you the best weapon these hands know. Uh, it will take some time. Mind wait until I'm done? Uh, what do you mean with it takes some time? Huh. Well, okay. I'm just going to quickly check out the other floors then and uh, see if I could do something with uh, a face shift a B, you know? Face shift a B. Oh, hello there! A human? How rare! I've never seen anyone other than a lady this deep in. You could hear a voice from the door behind the demon. What's the matter, ma'am? Is that special? Looks very special. The demon went inside the door. You can hear the demon and a female voice from within. Ma'am? What is it? Huh? Ask that human? Me? My duty as an attendant? Oh, come on! Huh? The demon emerged from the door with a dubious expression. If this is how it has to be... Hey you, listen! My name is Goblin. I am the lady's attendant. The lady is mother to the famous hound of Kulain. Ku Kulain. You're a human like her. Right? Like her? Uh, I mean, yes, of course. As another human, can you do her a favor? The lady came to this land to see Master Kukulain, but we can't find him. I heard that Master Kukulain was invited to Mitra's palace, but the lady is a human, and it puts a lot of stress on her to move around in this world. 
so I want you to look for Master Cuckoo Lane on her behalf. Will you accept the request? Sure! I knew the lady was, has a good eye. We are depending on you. A new exhibition has been added. Search! Oh, there's one thing I forgot to tell you. Master Cuckoo Lane trains in the land of the shadow, so he is very skilled at stealth. He might be hard to find, so good luck with you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, and I can't even I can't even I just wanted to check out what's in this room. I didn't have thought I would uh, see another quest like that. And still not done, huh? Okay, this takes a lot longer than I expected, Mr. Draft. In that case, I guess uh, I could also start my search for Cuckoo Lane. And after that mission, check again if you're finally done with that weapon, huh? <laughs> oh well. Oh! You successfully analyzed the demon. You are new. Me protects me autos. Me new gatekeeper for dead... For Morian. What you come for? You ask orders of the location of Cuckoo Lane. The guy that I'm actually supposed to find, you know? Cuckoo Lane? Oh, he's a great man. He, uh, I read that me knows him. He said he's a good guard. Watch gate until me get here. When we switched, he said he'd go to his mentor. Mentor was at duel. At will. So he go help. Said it was a place fit for battle, must be burning land, with never-ending war. That's all we know. Take your time, look for him. Okay, thanks for the clue. There's only one burning town, with never-ending war. Right? <laughs> oh yeah. Ah, okay, okay, I found her. Uh, she was in the room in... Uh... Oh god, now I forgot his name. The bull guy. You remember? The bull guy from the first fight? Borgs, I think? There, right in his room. She's sitting here. So who is there? Hmm. A human. You don't appear to be an enemy. The battle is over. All I must do now is rest. But before that, I wouldn't mind having a few words with you. What have you come here for? Uh, you tell her that you're looking for kool -Aid. Ah, yes, him. He burst in here not long ago, blowing for me like an agitated cow. <laughs> oh, God. It's as though he'd forgotten just who I am. Sketch Hat, Queen of the Land of Shadows, would never lose to the likes of Ive. He's such a worry ward. Thought that's what uh, endears him to me. Ah, but forgive me for muttering to myself. You wish to know where he's gone, yes? You came at a bad moment. Cuckoo Lane left only moments before you arrived. He was looking for a human, but I don't think he said where. Though he couldn't have gone far in such a short time. I hope you find him. So he's somewhere in Antlia, right? Okay, I try to find him again. Okay, suspicious shadow detected. It's actually him. Okay, well... There we have it! Cuckoo Lane! Are you by chance the human who sought me out? Yes, that seems to be the case. I have found you at last. Why? <laughs> oh, but pardon me. You see, I've been looking for you. I would uh, I would hear to tell of a human looking for me on my mother's behalf. I was on my way to investigate. I am grateful to you for embarking on your search. Surely you know by now. But allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cuckoo Lane. Pray tell, do you know my mother was searching for me? Yes, of course. That is why I'm actually searching for you. <laughs> oh, I've made my mother worry so, without even realizing. I scarcely thought she, she would come all the way here to meet me. I've not a moment to lose. I must see her straight away. I apologize for any trouble I have caused you. Could you be so kind to tell, uh, as to tell me where my mother is? Of course, she's in, in Karina, and with that he already left. Well... Ah, right, I guess I should probably check if he actually found his way, huh? Okay. So, we're back! Hello there, human. 
The lady,、uh, the lady saw her son. Thanks to you, we owe you. Now then, with that taken care of, I think it's time I had a little vacation. Oh, and Master Cuckolane wanted to thank you, so go inside and talk with him. Be seeing you. Bye, Goblin. Goblin left. So can I finally enter? I can actually finally enter and actually map out this area because I've been waiting to do that for quite a while. So let's see. Before I talk with anyone, let me just quickly sacrifice. See how this、uh, whole area is built. Oh, there's an enemy! Great! It's a fox. Actually, I'm. I've been hunting those guys in order to get my own ice vest. But then again, I think by the time I'm done, I probably find a better armor piece, <laughs> a much much better armor piece. And since I don't really need to fight. Tiamat again. I don't even know if I need that one anymore. But the well, Kukulain. Ah, it's you. Have you come to see me? I was able to meet Mother here. Thank you for that. The X mission has been completed. I never thought Mother would come to this land. Though a human, she crossed space and time to see me. What an ingrate I have been. Thanks to you, though, I was able to see her, if only for a brief moment. Will you accept this as a thanks? Woo! A gale bolt. This gale bolt is a powerful spear given to me by my mother. It can cause the utter obliteration of your foes. In fact, it is so powerful that I've come to over rely on it. That is why I would like you to hold on to it for a while. You should master it in no time. I am certain. I must be on my way. I've been thinking of returning to the land where Mother resides. I heard it's embroidered in some war or another, and I would like to do something for Mother, since I couldn't do much for her during her visit. If I return alive, I will lend you my power. Let this be the proof of my vow. The knight's oath. And now I must go. Bye, Google Lane. Was nice knowing you. And with that, I can even create him for fusion. So that's probably one or another key item, right? Knight's oath. Trust. Okay, okay, Google Lane. That is much shorter than this guy. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> Oh God! Okay, but thanks for the code. Now about the draft. Okay, that guy is a troll, an absolute troll, because he's never getting finished with that weapon. Ah yeah. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make a cut right here. In the next part, we are still trying to find a few more quests. I try to figure out how to make the other two weapons for、uh, Good Luck and Kresnik. Hopefully, the draft is going to be finished by the time uh, I'm, uh, I'm recording again. And yeah, I'm also going to map out a few maps since I also have a quest in Eridanos that makes me map out the areas. So I'm just going to run around a while, search ingredients. Try to get the weapons, and see you in the next part. Until then, bye bye.